Hi guys. Sorry for such a long delay since the last uh, heat pump video. Uh, we're finally getting this return air duct done. I went I had these uh, an elbow and a uh, transition made up. Uh, we're just getting, right now we're just setting to, setting up to cut the uh, piece of leftover duct fit into this, so it raises this all the way up to match the original. Uh, yeah, just marked out the that piece. Let's go cut it. It'll probably be easiest to cut it with the angle grinder. Vibration is removing all of the uh, pencil marks. I have to go over it with a pen. Before installing this uh, new piece, we're just going to use a level to mark where to cut off the original duct. Then we'll uh, put the new one in. Okay. That's level there. And it needs to be level here too. It's pretty good down here. Anything? Oh, that's a little bit better. Okay. Let me get a better. Yeah, that's good enough to see. And Not then all the way up to the top, but I know that we actually have to go one inch back from that because the uh, the overlap on these uh, edge seams. Yeah, we got to we'll go one inch back from that, and that's where we'll, or no, one inch the other way, one inch out. This way, okay. Yeah, then we'll cut it there. Got the duct uh, test fitted now. It's a little bit tight, so I think I'm going to cut about half an inch off of this piece. So it was very difficult getting everything in there. And I'm also out of uh, 
S cleat for these long edges and C cleat for the uh, other other one, so I'm going to get some of that. Okay, I've got this piece cut down uh, half an inch to make everything fit, and now everything fits pretty well. I'll have to bend up the uh, edges here for the C cleat. Recording now. are all bent up. I'll start uh, assembling the cleats. So putting uh, these cleats on. You can do the other end if you want. It's okay. So it might be easier to slide it on. This one may have to be uh, rebent here. Yeah, this one's gonna have to straighten this uh, one out and bend it a bit farther up because that's too close. The C won't, C -clip won't fit on properly. Okay. This edge doesn't line up with the end of the uh, longer portion down there, so I'll have to cut that off straight and then rebend it, and it should line up properly. Okay, we're assembling the ducts, hopefully for the final time. Just getting these, these cleaned in. Just get light. Cut some of those plywood and get out. No. Here, um, slide that over that one. Then this one should slide in. You can just keep that push just in it. Yeah. That's getting a bit difficult to push this. Okay, get See a crowbar or something. need to put the uh, C-cleat on this one. Keep it at the correct angle. Have a chat. There we go. Might be a little bit uh, too far apart. What we could do is cut a little bit off. There. Just push this bit in. Yeah, I think 
good so I'm going to cut a bit of uh, material off the cleat so it'll fit. That fits on better now. Continue putting the rest of them on and then just have to bend them uh, over to cover up the edge and then put tape over it. And then also we have to cover up this uh, hole. To patch the hole I cut this piece out of an old scrap of duct and we'll just screw it on up here. And here's the panel installed. And the last cleat here. There we go. And we've got to take all of these off again. Take all this off again, we've got to put a return air... Uh, I think you're putting return air in back to the wall and then down to the ground on the other side. It's either that or uh, take it off the existing return air running up through there through the rafters and go down the wall. That might be a bit easier to do. Okay, we've got that panel off now. These are the two studs. We'll take the air between. I'm just going to get this plate off. Uh, duct the plate there and bring it back down. We have to uh, cut into the top plate a little bit as well. Luckily the rafters line up pretty well with it, so there shouldn't be a problem. It would be worse if they were in the middle. Let's see if we can pull this uh, down. A bunch of dirt falling out. Oh, look at all that dirt. Let's see. We're going to have to get in there with the vacuum. Here's the piece of metal roughed in. Um, we just need to seal up all the gaps around this uh, around these pieces of wood. Got some insulation uh, bubble wrap in there so the uh, ducts are insulated from each other a little bit. Um, yeah, let's get the get this finished up. Here is the completed uh, return error thing up here. Some bracing installed on the side, and more bracing here, cut to be a little bit aerodynamic. Time to put the uh, cover on. Good recording now. Okay, the vents are all installed now, have us back on, and this one too, let's just see how well the uh, vent works. Seems to work pretty well. Let's just try the other one too. Slow airflow on this one for some reason. Here we go, it works pretty well. 